Now, if you have an ADA covered disability or a medical condition that your doctor says puts you at an elevated risk of either contracting COVID or becoming seriously ill from COVID, you can request reasonable accommodations under the Americans with Disabilities Act. Your employer has the right to request reasonable documentation of your medical condition to determine that you have a disability that's covered by the ADA. Your employer still has the right to determine if the accommodations that you're requesting pose an undue hardship, and they can base that determination on a couple of different factors. The cost of your accommodations have to be balanced against the resources and income of the overall organization that you work for. If your employer's income stream was interrupted, it may be easier for them to make a case of undue hardship now. Another thing that employers can base the determination of undue hardship on is difficulty. For example, if you have a retail job and you're requesting telework, it would be very difficult for an employer to make that work. Those are the kind of situations that undue hardship determinations are meant to address. But declaring the reasonable accommodations that you request an undue hardship doesn't totally let your employer off the hook. They still have to offer you reasonable accommodations that are effective and not an undue hardship. Some employers claim that any accommodation is an undue hardship. They'll have a very hard time defending that position with COVID on the landscape. EEOC guidance lists a whole bunch of possible reasonable accommodations that employers could make. They mention things like providing hand sanitizer, installing plexiglass shields, limiting proximity between employees, or limiting the amount of time that you have to spend in a crowded space. Now, effective is the key word. All the reasonable accommodations offered by your employer have to be effective. That means they have to address your disability-related medical needs. Some of the reasonable accommodations you had before COVID might not be as effective anymore. You have the right to request adjustments to your reasonable accommodations if they're no longer working for you. And in that situation, your employer's obligations are no different than they were the first time. They can't just disregard your request because they've already accommodated you. EEOC guidance talk specifically about the medical needs that employees with pre-existing mental illness may have during this time. Employees who had depression, anxiety, OCD, or PTSD may find it very difficult to navigate major disruptions to daily life that COVID has brought to us. EEOC sees mental illness as a disability. And these difficulties that I'm talking about, those are medical needs, not emotional shortcomings. Employers have to accommodate people with mental illness just like they would anyone with a physical disability. A lot of employers with essential workers may feel exempt from the ADA. Your employer isn't exempt just because your job is classified as essential. You still have the same employment rights that you would have if you weren't essential. They can't just say, oh, you're too important, I can't accommodate you. And really, what kind of employer would even try that? And I don't have time to go through the entire 60-page document at EEOC, but I will link to it in the description. I wish you all good luck and good health. Fight smart and hang in to win.